is up everyone welcome to alt knots i am slowly gradually let's say gradually i like that word better working my way through the nightmare before christmas crochet kit where there are all of the very famous iconic characters from nightmare before christmas in crochet version the very first one that i did was sally we have her chilling right here i put a poll up on my insta story the other day of okay i have sally done which one do we want to see next thinking probably jack right jack Sally. Main characters, that's the direction it's gonna go. No. Nobody voted for Jack. Everyone wanted to see Oogie Boogie, so that is the character that I worked up. And this was an interesting one. The pattern, when you first look at it, I thought anyways, was gonna go a lot quicker than Sally. And some things did, and other things took a little bit longer than I expected. Either way, I'm super excited that it's done. And we have it right here. How freaking awesome is this? Now I know what you're gonna say, it's not the accurate color for Oogie Boogie, but this yarn glows in the dark. Obviously in the yarn dungeon, there is no daylight in here. So I need to take this outside, charge it up a little bit, and then we can see how much it actually glows because I have not seen it glow yet. I've just finished it literally this morning. So we need to take it outside. It did not feel right chit-chatting about Oogie Boogie while I had Oogie Boogie inspired coffee just chilling waiting to be brewed and with the marshmallow creamer so freaking good. So there are a couple of things that I changed majorly from this pattern which I have the book here. The Nightmare Before Christmas crochet book working my way through it. The very first one in here is Jack and I feel bad I'm like I'll get to you eventually I promise I'll go back. This is the original color that it's supposed to be if you've seen the movie, you know, I have no regrets using the glow in the dark yarn for this. It's exactly what I wanted it to turn out to be. Another major thing that I changed was the size of the crochet hook. What did they suggest again? It was like two something. Yeah, 2.75 millimeters, whereas Sally was a 3.25. So I knew Oogie Boogie was gonna be a little bit smaller and I didn't really want that. I wanted most of my characters to be similar size, if not the exact same size. I was a little bit worried when I was working up the body of this. It was turning out to be a lot bigger than I thought. It eventually stopped, so we were good. Obviously, I needed to use a lot more embroidery thread. I basically need to get another little spool? Is that what it is? I don't know what it's called. Another ball of this embroidery thread. I am pretty much through this entire one. There is obviously the seams on the side and also the mouth. And not only did you have to do the straight seam, but you had to do every little crisscross over it. You didn't have to, you can do it however you want to, but that was the look that I wanted. I also ran out of the little pipe cleaners that go in here. So I can't remember which one it is, but I think there is a leg. I think the head was supposed to have it in there and I just ran out of one. I am gonna order a bunch more because I know that pretty much every single character is gonna need those. 
and I just didn't think about it when I ordered everything. The yarn that I used was the DIY Glow yarn from Lion Brands, which is currently at this moment in time in stores at Joann's and also on Lion Brands site. I have used this yarn before and this year I will say that it definitely feels a lot softer. I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like they've changed up the yarn a little bit because the previous years that I've used it, it just felt a little more rough, which doesn't really matter because I was doing a stuffy. It's not like I was wearing it or anything, but I do like the change. I am so freaking glad that I decided to grab three of these. Did not think I was gonna go through that much but again, it ended up being a lot bigger than I was expecting it. I used almost two full skeins of this DIY glow yarn, which was 50 grams. At the time when I was picking it up from Joann's, it was on sale, so it was buy two, get one free. I figured I'd just have plenty left and I'd just use it for whatever. But even still, I didn't even think I was gonna use an entire full one. So I had planned on using this for zero. I'm gonna guess uses a 2.75 millimeter crochet hook. Oh my gosh, is that one last? 2.75 millimeters and I think I still am gonna use the bigger one. I like the bigger characters. I might end up grabbing a little bit more just to be on the safe side. This is totally one of those yarns that is gonna sell out long before October, let alone Halloween, unless they've decided to like majorly restock. But in the past couple of years, this stuff had sold out. I did just go over to Joann's the other day, yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Popped into Joann's to see if they had any new fabric or anything. The little end cap that had this yarn in it only had four or five skeins left. Maybe they'll restock, I don't know. Just going off of what they've done in the past, probably not. It worked up so nicely. As you can see, the stitches are just really clean. In the past when I've used this, it had a tendency to split a little bit. And I was really glad that it did not do that because I was kind of prepped and ready to undo stitches and have to kind of redo parts. I decided not to overstuff it and almost understuff it. I like the look of how when you like squish it a little bit, it looks like very lumpy, almost like there is bugs inside Oogie Boogie. Another thing that I did change was the bug that Oogie Boogie is holding. That was supposed to use black yarn and it's really kind of hard to see it on the back here. You can kind of see holding it there especially with the darker background, it's rather hard to see. I just felt like it had to have neon green something. If I were to do this again, I think I might want to add a couple more bugs, maybe like on the seams. This was seriously so simple. It was just a straight single crochet. I can't even remember how many stitches, but that was it. There's nothing else to it. Just a tiny little bug there that it's holding. So it'd be really easy to go back. I guess not, I don't even have to do it over. I could just go back and add some more on the seams to make it look like there's bugs coming out of the seams. The hardest part, again, this is just a me thing, it is not a pattern thing, was the face, 100%. I get super nervous every time I do the face of these iconic characters because they're just, you gotta get it right. If you don't get it right, it's not gonna look anything like that character. So this was another one that I let it sit for a little bit, cut out a ton of felt. I actually have an entire stack of black felt because there's a lot of characters that use the black felt, so I just got a huge stack of it. Cut out quite a few eyes before I decided on these. Mine has way more stitches around the mouth than it suggests on here, but it goes very similar to the edging. I ended up putting way more cross stitches on it too, it's honestly just what I liked and I feel like it gave it more character. I am gonna use whatever I have left for this glow-in-the-dark yarn. I will use maybe zero just for the fact that it's not gonna use much yarn. Oh, the mayor. Yes, I have to. One side uses peach color and the other side is white. It definitely has to be glow-in-the-dark. All the rest of my yarn has officially arrived. I decided to go with Hobie yarn. They had a huge sale on their cotton. I love the cotton. I've used it for quite a few different stuffy projects. And I mean, it was on sale. So I figured I'd just grab it all up. That way I have them because which one is next? If I'm going in order, because we just totally skipped Jack, which one is after Oogie Boogie? 
The Doctor. This one is supposed to be next and I kind of want to make that one. I feel bad about not making Jack, but Jack might be last. I mean, at the rate that this is going, might be last. So I did my best to match the colors up, but you never know looking online. That was the nice thing about this book is that it does have the name of the yarn. So they ended up using paint box and then every single character, they told you exactly specifically that color. We'll see if this ends up being a good thing or if I'm just gonna have to order more yarn now from paint box. That is an awesome site. Yes. I'm already seeing some greens. I don't remember what the green is for. That's the other thing. Oh, shock, the mask, yes. Some of the colors I went exactly or as close to as I could find of the color that they suggest. Like if it said mint, I tried to go with it. And with Hobie, again, they don't put their colors on there. They just have a number. So this is color 75, but that is supposed to be for shock, the face mask that goes over top. I'm thinking this is for hair. I honestly don't remember, but this stuff is really, really soft and it's very similar in size to this. I think it suggests, so this one suggests using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and then I went all the way down to 3.25 and this one is anywhere between 3.5 and 4 millimeter crochet hook is what it's suggesting. It also has the easy start tabs, which I am a huge fan of when it comes to this yarn. It doesn't split easily and it's really soft. I don't remember it being this soft either. Maybe it's just been a while since I've actually used cotton yarn, but yeah, 100% cotton, rainbow 8 slash 8. There are a couple of variations for the rainbow yarn that they have on their sites. Two different colors of red. One is for the Santa Jack and the other one is for the actual Sandy Claus. Not a huge difference, but a little bit of variation. Color 58 and color 86. This is yarn that they have pretty much on their site. I don't know if it's permanent, but it's been on there for a long time. So if you're looking and you want like color 86, it should be on there. What else do we have? I probably just pulled this part out. Okay, I found the colors. Perfect, 86. This one is technically called Christmas Red. So that's the one that I got for Santa Claus Jack. And this one is called Just Red. That's it, Just Red. Anything else? Ooh, they always throw in a little piece of candy or some other notion or something. Here is for Shock. That is almost a spot on perfect color. I was most nervous about this color. as It's called Plum. Mauve is what they suggested but that's what it looks like. So it might not be spot on, but I'm happy with it anyways. I don't think there's any color in here that I need to completely get something different. I did end up getting a ton of white because I needed it for the doctor, for zero and the mayor, but now that I'm gonna use the glow in the dark, I don't even know that I'm gonna need this. Oh, these ones have a different, te oh. Oh, there's two different ones on here. I don't even remember what I ordered. Cotton King, and then there is Rainbow. Are they different? Just a different line. They don't feel any different. They feel very soft, very similar, and similar sizing. I'm gonna guess that I couldn't find the color in the Rainbow line, so I went to the other line. Like I said, I don't even remember. This color is really cool. This is for the mayor for the spider. Yeah, obviously I need to decide on which one to make next. I'm pretty excited about the doctor. Let me know which one you wanna see next. Lock seems super fun. Honestly, Boogie's Boys, I'd be game with doing all three of them. There's a lot of pieces. I think that's just kinda of how it's gonna be. And I'm still having fun. Obviously, if I wasn't having fun, I would not be continuing to do this. I would have totally stopped at Sally. But I really want my nightmare for Christmas Crochet Village. All right, that is it, ghouls. Thank you for coming in, hanging out in the yard engine checking out the next addition to my nightmare before christmas crochet village if you haven't checked this out yet either seriously check it out you have plenty of time still if you want to make your own nightmare before christmas crochet characters for october or even just year round honestly these are gonna stay out year round but my goal is october 1st i want to have every single character so we need to keep going but for now that is it so again thank you for hanging out with me have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.